Hi there, welcome to the Lad Mix Farm channel. I am Arthur Nkubito. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to explore uh, pineapple farming. Here at Lad Mix Farm, it's one of the crops that we have invested in uh, because of the financial potential that it has. Uh, first of all, it's a crop that does not require a lot of hard work. It's not a crop that you're going to engage uh, in spraying, let's say that maybe you're going to get diseased, diseases that you need to spray against. No, it's a crop once put on ground, ensure that you manage the weeds and you'll be good to go. It approximately takes 18 months uh, for you to start picking. So depending on the suckers, uh, others can take you up to maybe 19 months. But it's a crop, once you start getting the first phase of the fruits, you can take around three months when you're harvesting. And then during the second phase, you have at least a period of nine months, nine to 12 months before you can start picking uh, the second round of fruits. Now in East Africa, we have the smooth cayenne. This is the most preferred variety, and that's what most people are farming. But why pineapple farming? It has very good finance, finance returns. Uh, if you look at an acre, you, ca you are able at a spacing of one and a half feet by two feet uh, to plant 15,000 suckers in one acre. Now that is a very good population. And when you look at the farm gate price, for instance, if you're to just sell a single pineapple at uh, 1,000 shillings, and that is by the way on the lower side, you can imagine the kind of returns you can make. So it's a crop that is very helpful uh, to farmers who, are, who would be keen to plant more than one crop on the farm. Or if you want to do pineapples, maybe on a large scale. It is something that I can, I really encourage you to, to tap into. In case you have your limited resources, find an acre and try to invest in pineapples. The demand is so high, uh, much as sometimes the season, uh, the pineapples can come um, when the season is a little bit over flooded, yes. But still, when you look at the price you are going to sell, because you are not going to sell less than 1000 in on the garden, at farm gate price, still the returns are so high. And when the scarcity, it can shoot up to 2000 2500 a single pineapple. So imagine having 15,000 suckers, and each sucker is going to give you a pineapple. Uh, you can do the math, and then you'll see who, uh, the importance of this fruit. Secondly, it's a crop that uh, lasts long. Yes, it takes one and a half years to start uh, harvesting. Once you harvest uh, the first round of fruits, it brings out more suckers that will give you a second round of fruits after around 9 to 12 months. Still, which will be able to sell at that amount, say 1,000 shillings per fruit. Um, once you do proper agronomic um, practices on farm, let's say after the first round of harvest and you apply, apply manure, you can even go to the point of harvesting the third round. So you can imagine having one acre, and this one acre uh, sustain, sustained very well, uh, being able to be having one crop on this particular farm for three consecutive years. And every after each year, you harvesting that volume of fruit mm, that you can be able to sell. This then becomes a very good income earner for a farmer out there. So it's very important as, as we do mixed farming to identify those particular crops that are very beneficial. So we felt it good to bring it out there. There could be youth that are looking for ideas uh, on the crops that they would want to do. Maybe have limited land. It is a crop, yes, it might give you a little, you need patience, one and a half years. But even when with this one and a half years, during the first six months, you can say intercrop it with maize. So you have not entirely lost uh, the, 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 that month because some members, some farmers out there, they want quick maturing crops, three month crops uh, that they can harvest, let's say things like rice, beans, sunflower and so forth. They are normally discouraged when you tell them of a crop that takes one and a half years. But if you do your pineapple farming and then in the first season you intercrop it with maize, that means in that season you've actually harvested maize and then you do the general weeding. The second season, instead of maize, now you can put in 
the beans. Because at this time we want the crop to, the pineapple crop to also be able to get enough sunshine and be able to expand very well. So the first season you see you have planted in the first three months and harvested beans. The second season you have put in, uh, I mean, the first season you have planted and harvested maize. And then in the second season you put in beans, which gives us uh, the two seasons of the year. So meaning now you are only left with another six months. At this point you just come and heap um, the soils along for stems to give them ample strength and nutrients so that they can be able to bear big fruit. So you will not even realize that you have taken one and a half years because you'll have done two harvests in a particular, in, in a particular year. So it is something that we felt uh, should be interested. Uh, it's something that we felt we should be able to encourage farmers out there, encourage uh, the young, the youth that are trying to uh, look for ideas. Uh, it is a crop that you can really benefit from. If you can do more than one acre, that's the amount uh, of money, additional money that you'll be able to make. And when you look at the demand of pineapples, it is so high. People like eating fruits everywhere you go. And in post cases, when you do your marketing well, there are members who would want to come and with a whole lorry and take a whole truck of, of fruits, say maybe to neighboring countries. It could be South Sudan, it could be in Kenya. So the sky is the limit really if you put in more effort and would want to invest in this crop. By the way, this farm is located in northern Uganda and you can imagine uh, pineapples doing well in this part of the country and there are not so many gardens that are uh, or farms that are practicing pineapple farming. So it is a crop that will be able to support farmers around in the region to access uh, seedlings and be able to multiply. Uh, thank you so much.